Hello everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel, The Immigration Gurus. This is Jitendra Grova, Research Scholar at ATS Montreal, Canada. In this video, I'm sharing a really interesting case of PK. I can't take the full name, so I am calling her PK. So I'm uh, sharing the case of PK, uh, who recently got her visa at age 36. And uh, the interesting thing is uh, she has already completed her MBA. And in first application, she got refusal with a really random program. We changed the program to a correct one and she finally got her visa. So let me share the screen and uh, share the entire profile with you. Uh, case is quite interesting in many sense. Uh, there is a lot of randomness in the uh, application as well. Uh, age 36, it is quite, quite common uh, with me. So uh, age is not a really big factor. Uh, as I always say that it is possible to get visa at any age. So uh, when we when it is possible to get visa after age 50, so it is possible to get visa at, uh, at age 36 as well. Given that we are doing everything correctly and uh, everything correctly means choosing a right program, going to a right university or college. I always try to go for a public university. So uh, choosing a right program, going to a right college or university, uh, writing a right SOP documentation, if that is there in that case, you will definitely get visa. Uh, she was lucky. Uh, to get her visa in the first attempt in the first attempt after refusal but it was the first attempt for the right program so even after changing the program she has got her visa uh, and also uh, she has already completed mba so there are so many interesting things in the profile and uh, i'm sharing everything uh, uh, with her profile with you so she is having hr profile and in the first application she got her refusal with healthcare management program from cbu so this is a really random program chosen by the previous consultant. I don't know how someone can choose uh, healthcare management for someone having HR profile. I, I, I can understand that uh, there can be so many constraints. There can, be, there can be so many issues where you may not be finding the right program or right option that time to apply for admission. Doesn't mean you take random program for the admission. Please don't do it. Uh, I know that uh, you may be under pressure of getting so many admissions and uh, uh, doing so many cases. I, I know I understand that uh, everyone wants to grow business, but this is not the way to grow business actually. If you are taking admission in a random program, you are not going to get a uh, visa. You can, you, are, you can just take admission and getting admission doesn't uh, make any money for you. And ultimately student is going to get refusal and it is going to spoil the profile as well and many times i have i have found that uh, uh, after one or two or three refusals uh, it it is a there is a saturation point where student is unable to apply for any other program correct uh, himself or herself and uh, take the withdrawal uh, uh, spend money on something else so uh, there are situations yesterday also i was talking to someone where the student was unable to correct even after knowing student was unable, unable to correct uh, herself uh, because she was like, I am on a loan already and I cannot take refund and pay the fee for something else. So don't don't put the students in these kind of situations where uh, they are kind of saturate their chances of uh, uh, getting their Canada study visa, even though they, do, uh, they know that uh, this is the right path, still they cannot follow it. So this can happen with many students. I have seen it again and again. I yesterday also, I wanted to make a video for that uh, lady and uh, suddenly this this case uh, came in front of me so i am sharing in this video the the same point so uh, that lady she came into contact with me in october last year after that i shared with her that uh, this is the right program for you do not take any other program she is in healthcare management domain and uh, i wanted her to go for healthcare management i shared the options with with her as well but she didn't follow first time she applied for a private college Healthcare management program, program was right. She was going for a private college. She, she couldn't get visa. Second application, because she couldn't get admission in healthcare management, she applied for project management even after having healthcare management profile. So that was kind of uh, first time she is going for a private college, program was right. Second time she is going for a wrong program, the college was right. So this is not the way to apply for your Canada study visa. And now she is saturated. Uh, she, she is unable to extend her uh, uh, process till September and she cannot take withdraw and she just want to take one last chance. So don't be in these kind of situations, even if you are a consultant, if you are a client. So th these are kind of, uh, it, it troubles me a lot. 
kind of because I feel that uh, even if that lady has everything to get visa, still because of the conditions, because of uh, the financial conditions, because of whatever uh, she has done till till now, she has got three refusals till now, uh, she is unable to get her visa because of the conditions. So even though everything is there in, in the profile to get visa, because of wrong decisions, she is unable to get visa. She, will, she may not be a, uh, able to reach Canada. Similar things could happen in this case as well uh, of PK. And uh, uh, she could also be in a condition where she's already, uh, she's, uh, her age is 36 already. And uh, she went for healthcare management after having HR profile. I don't know how you could choose this kind of uh, option for you. And uh, I, I feel that when uh, someone uh, trusts you a lot as a consultant, then it is also your responsibility to choose something right for the client. Even if the conditions, the, the profile is not really suitable to choose this kind of program. I chose HR management for her. Even though it is not a really uh, awesome profile to go for HR management, why I'm going to share it in a bit. Uh, but still, you need to choose the right program. Master of Global Management was also there. She could go for Master of Global Management at Royal Roads University. Or second option was uh, HR management. We finally went with HR management and got her visa as well. So we picked two options, Master of Global Management at RRU or HR management in KPU or in any other public university. She finally got admission in KPU and we, uh, we have got a visa as well. Why her profile was complicated to choose HR management? Let me share it with you. So her current job title is HR and operations manager. She is already a manager. That's the problem. She is already an HR manager. So if you are going for HR management program, then justifying uh, the program for uh, her that uh, uh, after becoming an HR manager, how much career growth is pending for her after completing an HR management program. That is a tricky thing. Still, we took the chance because uh, I have already done cases. Uh, I have uh, done the case of Rahul already uh, who went for uh, Saskatchewan Polytechnic HR management and he was also an HR manager that time. So. I have done it already. So I knew that it is possible to get visa even if you are HR manager already and you are going for HR management program. Still, we can try for it and we can get visa. We also had a backup in mind, which was uh, Master of Global Management program. But uh, anyway, in her first attempt only, she has got her visa and that's a really cool thing. Uh, her entire profile is in HR, HR, HR manager, HR manager, HR manager, all the way since beginning. Uh, she is HR or recruitment uh, manager. And that was a really uh, kind of advanced kind of profile in HR. Mostly the people are HR executive, senior executive or something like that. Uh, but she was HR manager and she already submitted the profile in the first application. So th there was no scope of manipulation in this. So everything was already submitted. So we had to submit her profile as HR manager only. Also, she has already completed her MBA and her MBA was uh, the specialization was HR as well. So that's also a constraint. Many people confuse their specialization, which they usually do or pick while completing their MBA, or they do some project in that particular uh, profile. Usually there are two kind of, uh, uh, one is major, one is minor. Two specializations are there in MBA in India. So sometimes it is HR and uh, marketing, sales and marketing, finance and marketing. HR and finance. So people do uh, different kind of uh, specialization and we confuse that specialization as an actual specialization, which is mentioned in MBA. For her lucky thing was nothing was mentioned in her MBA. So her MBA is just an MBA. She might have done specialization in HR or finance or marketing, but nothing was mentioned in the degree. So because nothing is mentioned in the degree, you, you can claim that no specialization was there, even though there are uh, subjects related to HR, but there are subjects related to all kinds of uh, things, finance and other administration as well. So you can consider your profile as a generic uh, MBA profile without any specialization. And now you can go for a specialization, which we did for her. So we didn't show that she did, she completed her MBA with any kind of specialization. We just mentioned that simple uh, MBA uh, specialization is business administration, normal, that's it. And we didn't mention anywhere that it is HR specialization. So we didn't mention that even though she completed her project or my major or minor uh, specialization is HR, but it was nowhere mentioned. So simply we went with 
MBA normal and when MBA is normal, then he could go for HR specialization. So whenever you just hear it from the student, then the things are quite different. And whenever you just, uh, uh, you, you check the profile completely and you check the documents completely. And this is for the consultants actually. When you check the documents completely, then you can have the better insights, how you can uh, present the uh, file in a better way so that you can get visa for the complex profiles as well. So it is always, always, always recommended that whenever you submit your application, just consider your application note with the verbal communication, but check the documents as well, create your profile well. And if the profile is right, if the justification is right, in that case, there is good probability that you can also get visa. This is her case notes, uh, what she got after getting her first refusal. She went for, uh, uh, this is her first application completely. Uh, just uh, let me do. So she went for healthcare management program at CBU. Just, just uh, by getting admission doesn't mean that you are going to get visa as well. Also, people confuse that uh, uh, if you are going to a remote location, if you are going to CBU, Nova Scotia, you are going to get visa. By taking a random program, you are not going to get visa. It is not going to happen. She is having HR profile. It is uh, mentioned in uh, all the immigration forms everywhere in SOP as well. And now you are saying you want to become healthcare manager. How, how someone is going to believe in all these things? All those things, whatever are mentioned in the caps notes are quite generic. Uh, we usually find these kind of things written in the caps notes. Even if you get refusal with the right program, still these kind of things will be mentioned. But here, uh, uh, our decisions are not based on the caps notes. I have uh, said it again and again. Even if I am making the video of caps notes, still uh, I have mentioned that, uh, I have always mentioned that uh, uh, decisions should not be based on caps notes because we need to decide what is the right program for you, what is the right university college for you. And if you are choosing a right program, right university, and if you are justifying everything correctly, in that case, you are going to get visa as well. So uh, don't take any decision based on caps notes. I'm just showing it because she had it. So I uh, means made it visible to you so that you can read whatever is mentioned in the caps note, but don't take any decision based on caps notes. And uh, this is her offer letter. She has got her offer letter for uh, from KPU. KPU is a really good public university. Getting admission in KPU is tough in most cases. And reason behind that is uh, uh, it is uh, mostly highly in demand. And uh, it is a public university in Vancouver. If you get an admission in KPU, that is a really awesome option. And it has a post bachelor diploma, which is actually a PG diploma. Uh, and the program is HR management. So. The option is really great. It is a public university. So uh, all the public universities, whether it is TRU, VIU, TRU, uh, KPU, Algoma, uh, McEwen, all, all other, uh, uh, RRU, all the, all the public universities are really good public university, uh, really good options for any kind of programs, PG level programs, if you are taking the programs. In that case, there is good probability that you are going to get visa as well. And uh, these are IELTS score. She took IELTS academic and GT as well. We submitted both and uh, uh, seven overall. That is a good score. Uh, IELTS GT 7.5, both are really good. And this is her final PPR. So uh, this is this is her uh, uh, complete profile. So overall, uh, just to learn, uh, do not pick any wrong programs by considering a location in mind. Always choose the program first, that is the core. After that, college or university. After that, location comes into picture. But the process starts with choosing a right program. So with a with an HR uh, profile, with an HR background, if you are going for healthcare management program, it doesn't make any sense to me at least. So it was a wrong decision. Luckily, in the first application, after changing the program, she has got her visa. And people ask me whether we should explain uh, this change in the SOP or not. Everyone has own ways of writing SOPs. My ways are different. Uh, your consultant can write it uh, in a different ways. Uh, earlier, I used to write it different. Now I write it different. So uh, there are different versions of it. And your consultant can, can also write uh, in a different manner. So uh, you can justify it uh, that you made a mistake earlier, or you can just completely ignore and uh, put it as a new application, fresh application. So it is up to you how you want to proceed for it. Uh, but it all depends on who is applying for your visa. Uh, related to programs I have explained, related to choosing uh, a right program, right university is also important. Her age is 36. 
she is already hr manager if i would choose any college for her with one year program or two year program in that case there is high probability of getting getting refusal for her because the reason is uh, the amount of experience she has that is really good amount of experience and if she is not going to get a high level of skill from any college or university in that case visa officer will not uh, grant visa and the reason behind that is if you are going to a small college and if you are applying for hr management program visa officer will be skeptical whether you are going to teach to the teachers there or you are going to learn something from there so in a university it is always believed that in university you are going to get top notch knowledge top notch skills rather than going to a college going to a university being a mature case is always recommended we did everything right for her and she has got visa as well even if she she would get a refusal this time we would uh, uh, go for it one more application one more application until unless she get visa so that was the way i apply and the first application is the most crucial application i always say uh, for me at least because i put my best efforts in the first application after that it is just minor modifications from my side that's it i don't require to do much of the efforts in next applications it is just a matter of time after that uh, to get visa in the first application we need to correct everything in the profile and we need to uh, do certain kind of things to make your profile correct and appropriate for the next application and put the best efforts in documentation and sop after that we require to do certain kind of changes in sop and documentation that's it we don't require any major changes and the most efforts uh, are required in the first application only so always try to be on the right path even if you get refusal just don't uh don't don't leave that path if it if you are on the right path uh, after choosing a right program uh, even if you get refusals one two three four five refusals do not change your uh, uh, program do not change your university if everything is right then stick with it you will get visa from there only just because of refusal do not change your program do not change your university it doesn't make any sense even if it is written in caps notes in most of the caps not it is written that your program is wrong your university is wrong all, all this kind of stuff so always try to stick to the right program right university until unless you get visa so i hope video is motivating and informative uh, for many people and for the consultants as well do not do this kind of uh, blunders because whosoever is going to pick up the file in the next application uh, will be cursing you <laughs> for making this kind of blunders so uh, there are few things this this thing is th uh, something uh which can be changed we can change the program we can change the university uh there are some cases we cannot change anything people are there consultants are there who put the application without showing any experience gap is there five years gap two years gap three years gap one year gap and without showing any experience there there is just submitting application that is a blunder we cannot uh overturn we cannot do anything for that whatever you are submitted to ircc i have seen people submitting applications without showing any mba recently i have seen a case where someone submitted the application without showing a bachelor degree which was recently completed so i have seen people doing blunders and we cannot do anything for those blunders right now we cannot overturn those kind of things so always be careful about your uh, profile your whatever you are submitting uh, you cannot change whatever you submit to ircc in the last application whatever is submitted is submitted nothing can be changed so always be be careful whatever you are submitting to ircc in your applications because this cannot be changed thank you so much for watching this video till the end uh, please like subscribe and share the video as much as possible see you in next video we have a great success rate in mature cases when the age is about 30 25 even age 40 as well there are so many students who have already got visa with this type of complex cases so to apply with me ping me on whatsapp or call me on my number